The U.S. State Department says Washington would not wait to impose sanctions on any shippers helping to get fuel to North Korea, in an apparent warning to Russia days after the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations accused Moscow of cheating on the measures. North Korea continues to employ tactics to evade UN sanctions, Heather Nowert, the State Department spokeswoman, said in a statement, adding that UN member states are required to prohibit ship-to-ship -ship transfers of petroleum fuel to the hermit country. The United States will not hesitate to impose sanctions on any individual, entity, or vessel supporting North Korea's illicit activities, regardless of nationality, Nowert said. The 15-member UN Security Council has unanimously boosted sanctions on North Korea since 2006 in a bid to choke funding for Pyongyang's nuclear and ballistic missile programs. But the United States and Russia have recently shown cracks in the unity of the Council over the sanctions. Washington has evidence of consistent and wide-ranging Russian violations of the sanctions, the U.S. ambassador to the UN, Nikki Haley, said on Monday. Russia was helping North Korea illegally obtain fuel through transfers at sea, had refused to expel a North Korean whom the Security Council blacklisted last year, and had pushed for changes to an independent UN report on sanctions violations to cover up breaches by Russians, she said. Washington has tracked some 148 cases this year of tankers delivering fuel to North Korea in breach of a UN cap of 500,000 barrels a year. Haley has not said how many of those transfers may have involved Russia. Both Russia and China have suggested the Security Council discuss easing sanctions after the U.S. President, Donald Trump, and the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, met in June and Kim pledged to work toward denuclearization. The U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, said on Friday the United States is working to set up another summit between Trump and Kim after their unprecedented meeting in Singapore, but there is still work to do.